So I guess my little Sonic break is over, huh? Now I've been wanting to do some more Pokemon fan designs for a couple of reasons. Reason one is because my previous Pokemon videos are the two most viewed videos on my channel. Part one even surpassed 500 views lately. Reason two is because I have quite a few original Pokemon ideas that I want to redesign and share in the future. But if I'm gonna put that on YouTube, I want to get more practice on drawing Pokemon first. Which is why I'm making these on the moment regional variants and stuff. But let's get straight to the point here. We're doing another Gen 9 regional variant, but instead of a Paldean form for another Pokemon, we'll be giving a Paldean Pokemon a regional form of their own. And that Pokemon is the one, the only, the bane of steel types everywhere, the fan favourite Tinkerton! And also Tinker Tink and Tinker Tuff, gotta represent the whole line. So for those who don't know, this Pokemon's a fairy steel type, and as my buddy Iridi put it, they kind of go for a villain arc as they evolve. Tinker Tink is this cute little hammer that they make with metal, but it gets stolen by Pokemon who eat metal. So then Tinkertuff has a grudge against steel types and hunts them down, so they can steal their metal and make an even bigger hammer. And then we get to Tinkerton, who's got this comically large hammer and just not Corviknight out of the sky for fun. Now I really like the Tinkerton line, they're definitely one of my favourite Gen 9 Pokemon, maybe my absolute favourite, but there are some strong contenders on that front. I think their design's really cute, they've got a great concept and lore, and I also love how they affect the other Pokemon in their ecosystem. This poor Corviknight, my favourite regional bird deserves better. So I first had the idea for a Tinkerton regional variant in December last year, in a passing conversation with Iridi. Tinkerton's inspired by that anime trope of a cute little girl carrying a comically large hammer, you know the one. And I thought, what other giant weapons do anime girls swing around? Axes, of course! That was a pretty fun concept, but I didn't really act on it after having the idea. But hey, four months later, I'm finally drawing the line and putting them in a speed paint video. So let's see how the concept came to life! So, first things first. Since this is a regional variant, I wanted to decide on a type swap for Tinkerton. When I first shared the idea with Iridi, I decided on Ground Steel, pretty spur of the moment. Mostly because I was considering putting the idea in my Fakemon region, and didn't have that type combo in the decks. But I didn't want her to stay a Steel type. Given that a lot of Tinkerton's lore is tied to being a Steel type, and in particular, hunting Steel types, a regional variant should definitely focus on a different type of Pokemon. With the whole axe idea in mind, I quickly thought of Cleavor, another axe-wielding Pokemon that's bug rock-type, and continuing on the rock-type train, I thought back to how regular Tinkerton disrupts the natural order of Paldea steel types, like putting Golden Knight out of service with the flying taxi. I wondered if there were any rock-types with particular jobs, and that led to Gigalith, my personal favourite rock-type fun fact! According to their Pokedex entries in Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Sword, Gigalith is a popular companion for construction workers. So with both of those guys in mind, I'd settled on Tinkerton being a rock type, and I decided to specifically go rock fighting type. I think she could also work as rock fairy, but rock fighting feels more fitting given the colour scheme. Now, I will note that I completely forgot about the Cleavor inspiration while I was working on my speed paint. I generally leave notes like this on my iPad, but I don't tend to double check those notes while I'm speed painting, because I like to stay focused on the task, otherwise the speed paint has these awkward pauses. I did remember Gigalith and considered making the axe bluish purple to match him, but I thought that'd be too similar to the colour of Tinkerton's hammer. I do also later change the colours to be more in line with Cleavor, but we'll get there eventually. So as soon as I had the idea of the giant axe, I figured that I could give this Tinkerton a bit of a Viking Berserker theme. I figured that the best way to represent this in Tinkerton's design would be of some braided hair. Since Pokemon tend to be very simple, with stylized designs and strong shape language, I thought it'd be fun to stylize the braids as these big, chunky diamonds. Later on, I also got the idea of using the hair on the head to look like some kind of Viking helmet, the ones with the horns. So I shaped the hair to be chunkier and more angular, and I made the tufts on the top more jagged, with two big tufts on the sides to mimic the horns. Another thing worth noting is, Tinkertuff has a single triangle of hair on her forehead, but Tinkerton has two, while in this design, I decided to go for one instead. Mostly because I thought it fit the shape of the helmet better. Most of the line's design was kept the same otherwise. I kept the same face and mouth shapes, but I wanted the eyelashes to be a bit different, to make the eyes look a bit more on the aggressive side. I also made Tinkerton's eye shape a bit more glary to fit that image. I changed their cheeks to be pointed stripes so they kind of looked like war paint. I could have made the stripes lighter so they were easier to notice, but I wanted to stay faithful to the colour composition of regular Tinkerton. Speaking of the colours, I shifted the line from pink to orange, both to suit the type, and because changing the colour is a must for most regional variants, helps you tell them apart from the original at a glance. Now moving on to the weapon, I wanted to keep in mind a little detail that I really like about this line. If you look closely, you can see Tinker Tink's mini hammer is still inside the bigger hammer wielded by the revolutions, making it clear that they've kind of added more on top. I feel like that doesn't show as much in this regional variant, but I still tried to carry the point across. Starting with Tinker Tink, I gave her this little pokey rock stick with a diamond shaped end. 
Then with Tinker Tuff, I took that diamond point and incorporated it into the design of the axe, which I based on a traditional Viking axe. I will note that I later changed the lighter stone sections to gold, but I decided not to make it gold for Tinker Tink, just so the evolutions could stand out a bit more. And then with Tinker Tan, I wanted her axe to be this massive, double-sided great axe that's too big to fit in the canvas. I was very inspired by the kind of axes you'd see in Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy. The diamond at the end has kind of disappeared into the inside of the axe, but as a substitute I put a larger diamond over the top, so the intention comes across clearer. Now we move on to the shading. While I'm not accurately capturing the Pokemon art style, I am trying to emulate the shading and line art usage as best as I can. I even carried over the white outline on the front of the hair. I think the line art is a bit too thick compared to the Pokemon style, but I feel that I did the shading more faithfully in this video than in my previous Pokemon videos, since I realised that the shading is not particularly soft, though it does still have a bit of softness to it. Normally I do cell shading in my art, but I feel I've been leaning more towards softer shading as of recently. I might be magpieing that from the Pokemon style. I mean, the way I draw eyes was plucked from Pokemon as well, so yeah. Now I know what you're thinking, what about Gigaton Hammer? For those who don't know, that's regular Tinkerton's signature move, and it wouldn't work on this regional variant with an axe. So I decided to make a new signature move for her, which I'm calling Giga Tomahawk. Get it, because the tomahawk is a throwing axe and it kind of sounds like Gigaton. To ensure variety, I think I'd give it 80 power instead of 160, but in exchange, it adds the enemy's defense to use its attack stat to effectively double the power, giving more power if the enemy has more defense. This idea was inspired by attacks in other RPGs that ignore defense, like Flare and Ultima in Final Fantasy VI. As well as Giga Tomahawk, I also think that Tinker Tuff should learn Stone Axe, which is Cleavor's signature move. Speaking of Cleavor, I remembered him after I stopped recording the speed paint, so I decided to go back and change the axe. After all, I thought it was too similar in color to Tinkerton's body. So I took Cleavor's colors as a reference and changed the axe to be a lot darker. Well, just the brownstone. The gold stayed the same. I did try changing it to the color to match Cleavor's lighter sections, but I found myself liking the previous gold more. I also changed the background to make the sky more vibrant. And then I later realized that the dark stone didn't fit in because it was too saturated. I color picked from a shaded area on Cleavor, that's why. So I quickly went back and rectified it. And with that, the art is complete. So with that, the Tinkerton line has their rocky new makeover. This was pretty fun to make. I've been enjoying getting more practice in drawing Pokemon lately. If this video does well, I'll definitely want to make some more regional variant videos. I may share some of the established ones from my fan game concept, but otherwise, feel free to give me ideas in the comments. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram if you want to see more of my art. And remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Next video, I have a couple of ideas floating around right now, but you'll have to see which one comes out first. Until then, stay hopeful, don't give up on your dreams, keep your corner in a safe place that Tinker Tongue can't reach, and I'll see you all next time! For those who don't know, this Pokemon's a Fairy Steel type. Wait, is it Fairy Steel or Steel Fairy? I don't know. Gotta check. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think the design's really cute, they've got a great concept and lore, and I also love how the effects they have on the other po- Why, 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 what am I even saying? <laughs> if this video does well, I'll definitely want to make some more regional variant designs. Designs? <laughs>